I'm Ann Jones Guider, District 4 Commissioner. And today, as you can see, we are not in a studio. We are at the site of the, what we call, the county calls the Bleakley Building, because that is where um, there were, used to be an RV uh, dealership here. However, the county bought it a couple of years ago, um, got a great deal on it. <laughs> and so we're here to uh, visit it today so that you, the public, will know what's coming down the pipeline, why we moved it here, why we, I mean, why we bought this uh, property. And there were three reasons. One, we needed more room in the courthouse. Our courthouse was built in the 1996, I believe, but uh, the courts have expanded as the county has grown, so we needed more courtroom uh, facilities there. Also, we needed more parking. If you've ever visited the courthouse, especially on a court day or arraignment day, you found it hard to find a parking space. And so we needed more parking. And we needed uh, to, uh, we needed more administrative offices uh, and more room for certain offices. But anyway, we are here today to give you a preview of what is to come, probably in the spring of next year, it will be open. But uh, I have invited James Worthington, our Director of Development Services. Hi there. Now that's an important <laughs> uh, title. It sounds mighty important. Could you kind of tell the folks what it's all about? Well, sure, I'm James Worthington, Development Services Director, as you mentioned. I'm also project manager for some of the county projects, including this Bleakley complex. Um, the complex is essentially three separate buildings. It's a small building, which is the property management. This front building, which will be the tax and tag office and the appraisal office and GIS office will all move out of the courthouse now into- Now GIS is the maps and things correct. like that. Correct, okay. that's, that's your mapping. And they handle uh, all of the geographical information system for the county. It's a one-stop shop. You can go on their website. You can see all kinds of information, zoning, floodplains, topo. So if you needed to visit the appraisal department because your assessment went up, you can come here. Then you go to the tax commissioner's office, file a homestead exemption. You, file, you can get your tag. You can uh, 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 pay your taxes. And uh, so, That's correct. and then if you needed the maps uh, for your property or anything dealing with the maps of the county, the subdivision, you go to the mapping department. All of it's going to be here because they're so connected, and that's, that's very important for the public, for John Q. Public. So, go ahead. Uh, so, as she was saying, the tax and tag, they'll be on the first floor here. Um, it'll be easy access. They'll be parking at, right in this area where we're standing. That's a lot closer than the current courthouse. It'll be a lot easier to get in and out of. Um, upstairs, there will be the appraisal department will take the majority of the upstairs and the GIS will take a smaller portion. There will be uh, a little addition on the front of this that we're adding that'll have a new elevator. It'll all be ADA compliant, handicap accessible. Uh, there'll be some new restrooms and all that are ADA compliant. Um, so you'll be able to easily get to either floor. Now, um, obviously, it's not going to look like this. <laughs> this is a work in progress, and I, I think you said the estimated time of opening would probably be sometime next spring. That's correct. Uh, uh, if we don't have any problems, uh, unforeseen problems pop up. So it's a very beautiful building. It's uh, going to be something that Douglas County will be proud of. It is a beautiful building. It does closely resemble the courthouse that we have now. You should easily be able to tell the resemblance of the two, and it should be obvious that it's a county building. Uh, another reason we had to do something that was badly needed for years, and that was to do something about our fleet department. Could, um, we're, uh, we're, we will be interviewing Danny Agin from our fleet department uh, shortly, but um, th they just had a terrible place that their, their department was housed. So that was another reason. So this building is really killing three birds, at least three birds That's with correct. one stone, right? That's correct. Now we have about seven acres here. 
That's correct, but over seven. It's about 7.4 acres. Okay, about seven acres here. We have access off of Fairburn Road. We have access off of Doris Road, behind for the, the fleet. And there's even a small access off of uh, this little road over here. Don't know if we're gonna use all three of them, but uh, it's very accessible to the public, and that's what's very, very important. Correct. Uh, anything else you want to talk? Uh, how, ma how many square feet did we add? Because if you ever looked at the old Bleakley building, we uh, the bottom floor was kind of inset. So we knocked those walls out and brought them even with the top floor. That's correct. <coughs> As purchased, it was around 12,000 square feet. <laughs> Um, and we were, intent was to move the walls out to match the roof line. Uh, we weren't really expanding the roof line. And to do that, that expanded it to around 20,000 square feet. And then to add the elevator and the uh, handicap accessible features on the front added another 2,000 square feet. Uh, so it ends up around 22,000 square feet total. Yeah, but as you enter the new uh, entry here, which is gonna be close to the elevator right here, you will go one to one side of the building, you're gonna to go to the tax department, I mean tag department, you're gonna to go to the other side and there's the uh, tax department. So it's uh, very public friendly, which is uh, uh, great. Yes, we're looking forward to it and it should really ease congestion in the existing courthouse also. So we're looking forward to that also. Now, uh, James, we bought this building as is, as it was. Correct for 1.5 million because uh, it was owned by a bank. And so we were able to get a great uh, bargain by buying this building. There had been talks a couple of years, two or three years back, that we were gonna have to do something to increase uh, uh, office space, parking, and all this other stuff. And there was even talk about adding it to the splash to uh, ask for a like a 15 to 20 million dollar building. Now we bought this for 1.5, and by the way, that was my idea. <laughs> I'm giving yeah, kudos. <laughs> but we're we're doing a huge renovation, as you can see, and it, I think it's 3.4 million renovation. That's so correct. all total, we're going to have like a five million dollar uh, investment, but we're getting something equivalent to a 15 or 20 million. So I think it's a, a great thing uh, that's happening here. I definitely think it was a wise investment <laughs> and it will be a great benefit for the citizens of Douglas County. Yes, and um, is there anything else you would like to say about the building? Or, uh, of course, we're gonna break this parking lot up. Uh, nothing is uglier than just asphalt <laughs> parking lots. <laughs> we're gonna divide, we're gonna put some little islands in here. We're gonna do a lot of, uh, cosmetic to the front, uh, cosmetic uh, prep to the front so that it will be more appealing to the eye. And it will be landscaped well up here and there'll be a landscape strip between these two buildings kind of separating the fleet from the front because that's kind of uh, employee only in the back and this wall will be the public access. It will be nicely separated. Should be a, a beautiful project. But James, I appreciate um, what you're doing for Douglas County. Well, I appreciate you being here today to uh, inform the public about this uh, great, I think it's a great investment. Uh, and uh, I, I'm going to let you get, go on about your business. You keep a close eye on yes, this project and make sure they do everything good. Yes, ma'am, <laughs> will do. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. It is hot out here, folks, let me tell you. And now uh, we're going to uh, move to the back of the building. We're going to be visiting the fleet department. There's been a lot of renovations already completed on the back side. And we'll be interviewing Danny Agin, who is our fleet director. Good morning. Good Welcome morning. To Good to see you. Come on in. Yes. This is the new home of Douglas County <laughs> Fleet Management. Yes, and I know you're proud of it. Proud of it. Very proud. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, thanks for coming by and looking at the new uh, fleet facility. Oh, gosh. This We're is... have so much room here. And, uh, and let me tell you something. It's much cooler in here because there's air conditioning. Oh, no, yes. <laughs> the, the, the first segment of this film. 
What are we looking at? This right here is going to be our fire truck area. Our uh, fire truck, heavy truck, dump truck, hook lift truck, all the big trucks. Now you didn't, you don't have that over there at the old We do place. have the fire trucks, but we've only got three bays. Here we plan to have minimum of four for the long trucks, six for the long and the short combined. Okay, so if the, you had a bunch of <coughs> sheriff's cars over there being repaired, and we had a fire truck to break down, you'd have to move some people out. We do, have, we do have to do that sometimes. We only have nine bays over there. We'll have a total of about 29 bays here. Oh my goodness. Oh, we'll be in heaven. <laughs> you are in heaven, I know uh, you are. We're going from about 10,000 square feet to about 30,000 square feet. Oh my goodness. We're going from two bathrooms to eight bathrooms. <laughs> oh my goodness. How many crew do you have? Are, are you adding any crew? We plan to, we hope to. Um, there's a total of 16 now. Four of those are in the admin. One is a full-time- Administration. Administration. Okay. One is a full-time tire tech. Two are full-time heavy equipment. And they're stationed at our field services building at the landfill. So that only leaves about 11 at the shop that are full-time mechanics. Okay. We have about 1,150 pieces of equipment that we maintain. Now I do know that's you have lot. one one mechanic that's dedicated to emergency equipment, don't you? Uh? Actually I have more than one, okay. but one specifically. Okay. Uh, he works very closely with the fire department on uh, uh, scheduling the repairs, ordering the parts, Mainta tracking the parts, maintaining, maintaining the equipment. Okay. Yes ma'am. Right. Um, but I have two others that are training now and one that has been doing the ambulance part of the emergency equipment for years. So I really have two that's okay. really dedicated to it. Both of those are on call 24-7, 365, should yeah. we have a breakdown. But Both you, of them you are can be working on two fire trucks at least right in this bay. Middle of four. Four? Yeah, right here. Maybe, maybe six. I'm sorry, there, but, there are two doors on both sides. Uh -huh. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay. But two of my uh, technicians are EVT certified, which is Emergency Vehicle Technician, which is a pretty rare certification in Georgia. There's okay, many okay Danny, right now we, when we have a big uh, emergency vehicle to break down, sometimes we have to send them off out of state or in North Georgia, do we not? So we that do. delays getting them back on the road. That, that, you're right. Correct. Yeah. So this is going to be a great oh, help. Yeah. It's going to be, uh, it's going to enhance our uh, uh, public safety oh, yeah. and, and everything. It so. Will. I, I know you're excited. Oh, very excited. <laughs> We're doing more in-house now than we've ever done. Not only with fire, EMS, sheriff's department, we have the YTEC scanning capabilities for the Dodge Chargers to be able to update them and, and scan them and diagnose mm -hmm. them. Uh, we have two guys in the landfill, both are CAT certified. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so our certification just keeps going up. The amount of repairs we can do in-house keeps going up. Yeah. Uh, we, we built a couple of fire truck engines last year, which is rebuilt something. Rebuilt them? Uh -huh. Rebuilt them okay. in-house. Great. Saved thousands and thousands yeah. of dollars. Yeah, I know that. Uh, but we're, and we're doing that. We're doing that not only at fleet, but at field services. We're, we're saving money doing the repairs in-house without having to send them out. And the more... When you say field services, tell the people who, what you're talking about. Okay, field services is a satellite um, facility located at the Douglas County Landfill down beside, between the uh, Douglas County Landfill office and the uh, fire training center. We okay. have a little, fire we have a little two bay building out there. Yes, okay. We do all the heavy equipment there. Okay, so you're talking about that heavy equipment out there? Yeah, like dozers <coughs> and wow. skid steers and excavators and V8s yeah. and 826, yeah, okay. big equipment. Now, let's get back to this building. Okay. Now, I understand that we, um, uh, our uh, development services are the property management department yeah. did a lot of this. Yeah, they have. They, they've been very uh, busy. Now, some of it we had to farm out, okay. such as the flooring okay. and I think the painting. I think someone said there's 6,000 or 60,000 <laughs> uh, square feet of walls. And, uh, so, uh, 6,000. Uh, but anyway, uh, the ceiling and things like this, the lighting, and by the way, this is LED lighting. It is. So that saves on uh, uh, our cost, mm -hmm. our maintenance cost, and uh, you get, had a new uh, 
air conditioned system oh, put yes. in here. Mm -hmm. it, and like I say, it feels a much better oh, in here. Yes, I think I just <laughs> melted out there with James a while ago. <laughs> so uh, let's, so let's walk around. Let's go see other parts of it okay. so the public can see it. Okay. Now, Danny, this is huge. It's huge. It's this huge. is uh, probably five times bigger than your shop now. Isn't Way it? <laughs> bigger. Uh, the old shop, we can, each mechanic has one bay. Here we plan for each mechanic to have a double bay. Oh. So, so we're, we're going to have like four bays down this side, four bays down this side, but those being double bays, that'll equal 16. Yes. I'm going to have a half a bay or a single bay in the back, which is going to be my lawn equipment. These lawn mowers we're using nowadays, they're as big as Volkswagen, so oh, you need yeah. a rack to for raise the them parts, up. The parts and yes. racks, mainly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we'll, we'll have that repair facility back there in the back corner. Then we have our alignment rack back in this corner. The alignment rack is going to help us become a one-stop shop. If a car comes in, tires are worn out, we can mount them, balance them, align it, send it out, it's done. Right now we're having to sub or send out all the alignments. Yeah. So that's going to help. Cost savings. Cost savings. Okay, efficiency. Right. Efficiency. Yeah, very, yeah. very yeah. efficient, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, we want to become a one-stop shop on everything we can, All or right. as much as we can. Do as much as we can in-house. Well, you, uh, you probably feel like you just died and went to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I've been 31 you, years I've been walking through those doors over there and, and crowding into the shop because it's so tight and everything. Do you, in there. do you know when and you're going to be moving into this area? Do we, we have, don't have a... a Guaranteed date yet, but we're hoping real soon. Okay. We're going to do it in phases. Uh, we have these two racks here. We will be functional. Uh, my alignment rack, I can use it for other for, for things other than alignment. Okay. I can use it for service. So I can move a couple of guys in and maybe one parts person in. Go ahead and start working here. We're going to take all the equipment from the old facility and bring it over here. All the racks, okay. all the work tables, and the vice, the benches, and you know, everything. So we'll we'll be moving it over in stages. And, and, and as I get more moved over, I'll move another mechanic or two over and just keep on and keep on until we finally get it moved. And you're going to have fuel tanks here. So all these appraisal cars and things like that, they won't have to go all the oh, way down. Right. That's going to really save oh, in fuel costs right. because they don't have to go uh, five miles yeah. or if, I don't know how far it is to your shop now, but it's a pretty good way. Pretty good ways. And if you get caught with a train, you sit there and you wait, yeah. you wait, you wait, you wait. <laughs> Didn't here, think about that. Be a five minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, trip to get fuel. Well, the appraisal department's going to be in the front of the building. Oh, well, yeah, so that's true. That's yeah, true. That's true. Be that far. That's right. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, well, let's move on. Well, we'll come on around this corner. Okay. Uh, we've got more floor space. <laughs> We're loving this floor space. Oh, my goodness. Now, the, the plan here is the first four bays right there will be ride share. Dedicated ride share. Uh, Mr. Watson has, has, has been working with the... Uh, These uh, are the vans, the, the uh, what we the va do the vans for the, the, the carpooling and stuff like that. Correct, so. and the new transit buses that he has ordered, I think. Okay. Uh, but anyway, the, uh, all the, we, we already have four at Senior Center. We have one uh, Board of Commissioners bus. Uh -huh. We have several of the Goshen, Glavel, 25 passenger type buses. Uh -huh. Okay. So we'll have an 18,000 pound mm -hmm. lift back here to, to accommodate those. I don't think the public really realized that Fleet did all this stuff. That they took care of every oh, yeah. county vehicle. Anything Emergency the county management owns. down to cars, you know, right. so. Anything the county owns, we maintain uh, as the county is, is ready to get rid or, 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 or is through using a vehicle or Sal a piece of equipment, it or... goes into surplus. Okay. We evaluate it. If it's not well enough to go back to another department, then we set up to sell it on okay. public surplus. Okay. We got we got a sale going on right now, matter of fact. All right. <coughs> uh, uh, you might want to tell uh, the public where they can go and look at that site. Can they to, can they bid on? Oh yes, anybody. Okay. Publicsurplus.com. Publicsurplus.com. Does it have to say Douglas? Yes. When you it, select you, the county? Correct. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to, you know, I, I just go straight in there and I log them in and I put them in and I watch it as our sale goes on so I don't think about people logging in to, to purchase. Yeah. When you first log in, he'll say, do you want to okay. become a bidder? You, you can say yes. And once you get your, uh, get your bid set up, uh -huh. then you can go to search and you can search every county 
yeah. in any state in the United States, matter of fact. That's good. That's uh, good. And you can see what all they got. If you sale. need a good used car. Good used car. That's <laughs> all nice. right. Uh, is there anything else back here we need to look at? Or well, do we've we... got two wash bays back here. We've never ever had a uh, a, a real wash bay. Uh, the one bay we have at the old facility now is used for spill containment, uh, like when you're pressure washing engines and transmissions, getting ready to do repairs on them. But these here are actually car wash bays. <laughs> As you can see, this is not a scripted show. <laughs> uh, I'm throwing questions at him, and sometimes I may catch him off guard because oh, yeah. I'm throwing these questions at him. But it's not scripted. We're just out here doing a, a uh, ad hoc through. interview, right. so, to, so to speak. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's doing great. <laughs> but this is the wash bay here, and then this is the wash bay here. And there again, if our plans go through with ride shader moving over here, uh -huh. then one of the bays we would give to them. Okay. And there again, if we, if we start doing our own cleanup in-house, uh -huh. That's another cost savings. Okay. Anything we do is a cost savings. Very good. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what I want to see because there's no air conditioning in here. No, there's not. <laughs> Are you going to have fans? Oh, we uh, will. The, we the will. huge fans, yes, hopefully. We yes, because mm -hmm. it is uh, Actually, warm we'll in have here. Porticoons, okay. which is a fan with water on the backside of I it, blowing that moist. It's very cool. Feels the mechanics good. will appreciate oh, that. They will. Yes. They will. Uh, we're going to move upstairs, okay. if you don't mind, and look at some of the administrative offices that you've completed up there. Okay? All right. That's All right. Good. Let's go. All right. We're back, but we're upstairs. No air conditioning, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> However, uh, this is where a lot of the administrative offices are, is going to be, uh, and not just your office, but other things. Would you tell the public about okay. this? This right here is going to be uh, Gary Jenkins, who is the Government Services Director, and Heath Cowart, who is the Assistant Director for Government Services. This is going to be their office. Okay. And this will be the lobby for anyone waiting to, to meet with them. All right. Now, Gary's also over the landfill, isn't he? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. And then over here, we have another big window. And what is this? This, if, <laughs> if everything goes to plan. You're gonna have to put a curtain, I think. <laughs> if everything goes to plan, this will be our bunk room uh, during inclement weather. Uh, when, whenever we have inclement weather, the shop is open around the clock yeah. until everything is cleaned up and, yeah. and the uh, situation is over. So we spend the night there and we sleep in chairs and wherever we can, take little cat naps. We normally don't sleep, but we do take a cat nap. Uh, but this will be our future bunk room. That's we'll good. actually have a place for the guys to lay down, relax. The, the, the last uh, snowstorm we had, I put in 32 hours myself, yeah. sleep. Yeah. I, I slept a few minutes here and a few minutes there to cheer. And we nice appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all. <laughs> it been nice to lay down and take a couple hour nap. <laughs> yes, well, we appreciate oh, what y'all yeah, do for do us. It. People glad to do it. oftentimes don't appreciate uh, what county uh, employees do for them, and they don't think that while they're having their problems out there, the county's having a huge problem. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, there's uh, several build, uh, offices down here. So who else is going to be housed up here? Actually, there's only going to be one other full-time office up here, and it's on the end. We'll get to it in a second. Okay. This room here is going to be our uh, conference and training room. Okay. Something, something else a, we've never had before. It's a large room. It's a large room. Well, we're, we're, until we get in here and start placing everything, we're, we're probably going to change a few things. I know. But we're thinking about possibly our history files. We do a computer file and a history file on every vehicle the county owns. Yeah. So we'll have us a, a big conference table here, which we already have, that came out of the old government services house okay. out at the landfill. Okay. Uh, so we'll put it up here. Uh, we can do training, we can do conference, we can do planning, yeah. we can do hooking up history, we can do evaluations, I mean, on and on and on and on. Okay. There again, something we've never had before. Okay, Danny, why don't you share with the public um, some of the problems you had at the old facility oh, or that you still have, have until yeah. you move over here. When it rains, the building leaks. The back wall, it looks like a water fountain, I mean a waterfall coming down. Now and you have all floor. this electrical stuff we do. around. We have to get up all the electrical, <laughs> get up the components. The mechanics will pull the toolboxes out of the wall covered in plastic. Um, oh. Mosquitoes right. because of that. Oh, yes. new, yeah, that new uh, Subdivision that's going on behind the shop. Yeah. They've got an old retention pond back there. Oh my goodness. Mosquitoes are terrible there. Oh my goodness. They're bad. 
Uh, no parking. Yeah. We try to we try to have a place for the employees to park, a place for vehicles waiting to come in to be serviced to be parked, mm -hmm. a finish line so that the customer knows when I can go get my vehicle is done, and a wreck line uh, for cars that's wrecked waiting on appraisals and so forth. Yeah. Okay. Now, do y'all do body yeah. work? No, we don't. Okay. So We'd you love to, but we don't. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe, maybe, maybe one day. Maybe it's in Maybe the one day. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's uh, go on, Dan. So uh, we have we have no parking there. Crowded. We, we have little fender benders from time to time because it's so yeah. congested. Here we're like a football field. <laughs> All kind of room. A stadium. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the office uh, for ride share. Okay. Uh, uh, it's just an, uh, yeah. an office uh -huh. there. So that's very good. Anything else? What's around the corner down here? Uh, storage. 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 Lots and lots of storage. Th this is, this is going to be storage. Oh, that looks like a little elevator. It is. It's a little, it's a little, <laughs> little cargo, cargo okay. elevator. Let's uh, walk over to it, okay? Loud. <laughs> like I said, no air conditioning, y'all, so uh, if I melt in front of your eyes, you know what happened. <laughs> Sugar does melt, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, it does, it does. <laughs> all so, right. But this is a cargo elevator uh, to bring all the... Uh, uh, supplies and, 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 and parts and, and tires. We're probably going to store our tires up here. Now, does uh, it move over? Cause it's no, it just moves straight up and down. And how uh, do you access? How do you put the cargo there? Oh, this is it. it. No, uh -uh, it's down oh. there. Oh, okay. The platform's down there. I yeah, thought this, this, is, this is what is, moved. No, that, this is part of the structure. Oh, okay, got you. I'm now, sorry. The whole, the whole platform moves, comes up. I got you. Okay. And we can haul big items on that. I mean, and lots of items. That will that will help in workman's comp, too. Oh, yes. Definitely, <laughs> definitely help in workman's comp. And then this is just storage. This is just storage. Uh, and like I say, lots and lots of storage. Yes. This is just, I know you're proud. Yeah, I know you've got to be so proud of what's Can't that. wait. The guys can't wait. <laughs> yeah, The I guys ask me more often than, than anyone else. Where I know. Well, move? I keep I asking know. James. I keep asking James, when, when are we going to move? At least move fleet yeah. while uh, the other construction's going on in the front. I really because we're not, you're not even connected with that. So. I really think we're real, real close. Great. Um, great. We've got to... We got to extend the airline from from this original area over to the fire truck side. Uh -huh. uh, we still got electrical to do, and still have. Uh, you got some more equipment coming too, don't you? Are you going to be moving? We're going to be moving. Okay. We 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 we've, we've we've got all. We've already received all the equipment that we had purchase orders for okay. so far. All right. So today, all the purchase orders I think are closed out. Uh, hmm. It's very slow. <laughs> hey, it it's better than carrying things upstairs. It is. <laughs> um, I, I have more equipment in my uh, next year's budget, which may or may not happen. We haven't had our budget here yet. Uh, but we have equipment over to old facility to move over here. Yeah, okay. Uh, and, we do, and we do have a uh, purchase order in place to have that those items moved and set back up. Okay. So. Oh yeah, you gotta yeah. take them apart. And yeah, move you gotta them take them apart, okay. bring them over, <laughs> reassemble. Can't just pick them up and just. Throw no, them you over can't. There. You can't. So uh, yeah, uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna hopefully. Well, Danny, uh, I appreciate the tour, oh, the you're personal welcome. tour. For out. I'm excited for you and your staff. We're excited. And uh, I just uh, know it's gonna. I think we ought to have a big party. <laughs> <laughs> we got the room. <laughs> when we move. <laughs> we have the room for yeah. it. Yeah. So uh, thank you again for uh, the, the grand tour. You're welcome. And um, uh, I think now we will move outside to the outbuilding that now ha houses, uh, what is it? <laughs> Built and maintenance? Built and maintenance. Okay. okay. They are the ones that uh, uh, take care of all the sh buildings that the county owns. Mm -hmm. So. And they did some work in here, too. Oh, yes, a uh, lot of work in a here. A lot of the uh, yeah. work in you, the areas. Yes. So, all right, then, we'll just move outside. Okay, Thank okay. you again. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, we, we're returning. This is our last stop on this tour today. And this, we're at the building called, the little out building that's on the seven acres where the Bleakley building is. And it's the property management uh, uh, department. And uh, the property management department 
as I said once before, is that they, they maintain um, the buildings that the county owns. They renovate them. This building right here, all of the work was done by this department. And you're going to see a beautiful office building, and you're going to, you see the outside and everything. It is just a, a, an example of what our property management department does. It's uh, headed up by Gail Woody, and uh, uh, she's a very uh, uh, efficient, wonderful woman, and, and the county is just honored to have her working here and heading this department. But they do a lot of work. Uh, a lot of times you may see some renovations in the courthouse, or you may see renovations at the library, or you may see renovations all over the county, and you might think we brought in a contractor to do that, and that's not true. We, we actually have on staff people that do this. They've uh, been very busy replacing a lot of light bulbs around <laughs> the county with uh, uh, LED lights and everything because that will cut our electrical costs. All sorts of things that they do and we're very proud to have them. So um, I just want to thank you for joining me today on this tour. I know if you've driven up and down Fairburn Road you've probably noticed uh, what is going on at that building. Well now you know. If you watch this uh, station now you know. The proximity to the courthouse is like a block away um, and uh, it's very close to the courthouse because you, a lot of the offices still have some connection with offices at the courthouse so that's important but um, I can't wait for this to happen and I, I know that the public will be uh, proud and I'm sure we'll have an open house to invite the public in and see what their tax dollars is paying for. We, um, we thank you for joining us today and I look forward to next time. This is Ann Jones-Guider, District 4, saying farewell.